right. Oh, you've got my hair, missus. You've got my hair, missus. Okay. We're going to try and say hello, but you've got my hair. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you. Miss Holland Diane has a, she has like a vice grip, like the grip on this, on this little hand. Holland Diane. Well, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. This is my daughter, Holland Diane. She's four and a half months old and we have a doll shop out here in Denver, Colorado. We share our daily life running a doll shop out here in Colorado. If you're really new here, it might be time to just say hello and introduce ourselves again. My name is Rachel Hoffman. I have been doing dolls my entire life because my mom opened this doll shop. My mom's name is Diane Hoffman. And this was her second location that has been here for 35 years. We've been here. And she had another doll shop up the street before that. She was in the doll industry for over 50 years. We lost her in November, in um, April of 2020, April 23rd. It's actually coming up here soon. And I've shared over the years my life with going through um, the Alzheimer's that she had and uh, sharing in the grief and what it was like to pick up the pieces and still process that in the end, everything we've gone through um, with my family and, and with you. So many of you are that are watching are not new here and, and you've been with me through all of that and um, we've helped each other a lot through sharing in our grief because so many of us have lost loved ones. I feel like especially recently, just in the last couple of years, so many wonderful people have, I like to say, gone to heaven. They've departed us. And I was just telling Derek this morning, actually, that I did a video right before I launched the Christmas pageant in, in the end of 2020, where I basically cried through the entire video and shared how I was feeling with you, with thousands of people on the internet and the comments back and everything that everyone said, I told him that that was like going to therapy for six months because it was so validating. So many of you understood. You got in the trenches with me and helped me process that. The loss of a parent, the loss of the great love of your life, whether it's a husband, a wife, a child, a, a parent, even animals, you know, grief is a big thing. And what I've said recently and what I've learned is that what it does is it grabs hold of you and it does its thing and you come out on the other side and you're changed, <laughs> you're changed. And I'm not saying for the, for the worse, you're ch there's so many things that we can learn I am a better person because of my mom. I'm living a new life. I call it the life in the after. For me, it's, I have two lives. I have, I have life before my mom went to heaven and life after, and both have been just absolutely incredible for so many reasons and so many ways. In my life before, especially before my mom got Alzheimer's, we traveled the country, traveled the world, we did, all kinds of doll things, doll events, doll shows. My mom and I had such a bond and a friendship and we were just, we were very, very, very close. And we did this doll business together and it was one of the best experiences and things in my life and just having her, of course. And then she got Alzheimer's and I shared, I kept that buttoned up for a couple of years and then I shared two years in, which, I probably should have shared sooner, but it was just a monumental thing. And I also wanted to respect her privacy. Once I did share, so many people reached out to me because they had been or were going through a lot of the same things. And I'm actually gonna do a video here soon where I share a lot of just what it was like and just some thoughts on how to navigate it, maybe if you're going through it. The biggest thing I want people to know and to understand is that if you're going through that and it's horrible and hard, you're not broken. It's a difficult thing, but we went through that and, and even, even still, even in the height of her disease, we were able to have a beautiful life, a beautiful connection. Now, here in the after, she went to heaven. We're figuring out life in the after. I'm saying and a lot, but I'm also trying to wrangle this baby as I, as I speak. And she's, 
See, eating grouchers. A part of the big life of the after for me, big part of that is my life having a child. I had decided to have a child at the end of 2020. And um, I was so fortunate to get pregnant right away. And I still believe and do think my mom had a, had a big part of that. I just do, I, I really do. Because this baby has been such a wonderful thing for our family and for, for just everyone that she, her life that she touches. Uh, one of the biggest people that she's bonded with and that is bonded with her is Stanley here at the doll shop. And I'm gonna be chatting more about his history with us and just the beautiful ways that history is repeating itself because he was working for my mom before I was even born. So I love it, tradition, family. So here we are, Holland Diane is having her second breakfast, third, fourth, I don't know. Her sleep patterns have been a little off lately. She got me up every hour since 2.30. But on Thursdays and Fridays, which is when we're filming this right now, I get pretty jazzed to come to work. Linda actually just snuck in. And we have a lot of just things that we do. And I basically just work really hard to try and get everything done and also manage having a four and a half month old. She's with me all of the time, which I like it. I don't want her to go or be with anyone else. I, I take very good care of her with my helpers here and just at home and and it's been it's been a blast it's been some of, it's been some of the most fun that I've ever had I've done a lot of really fun things in life and had a lot of fun in life and this right here has been probably the funnest thing which was something I didn't expect to say that this has been the funnest thing I thought it was gonna be super hard and I wouldn't come back to work for months and and it just hasn't been the case for me and I know every baby's different every person is different every experience is different I had no idea what to expect but I didn't expect to love it as much as I do I knew I was gonna love it and cherish her and love her but I but I really I really do and it's just I really enjoy it she's just such a part of my life here after four and a half months we're working on so many things I'm working on taking care of my body and losing weight after having a baby. I'm working on figuring out my new flow and my new rhythms of my company and the doll shop and, and virtual doll convention and what I do with, with that while also having a baby and, and having a life, just the work-life balance and everything. I, I combine a lot of it. Up until having a baby, dolls and my work and my job was my life. So this has been, I, mean, I didn't really have any hobbies outside of doing dolls that that was my hobby and thankfully it was it was also my job so that is a big blessing when people say well what do you do for fun i'm like my job <laughs> and now it's taking care of a baby that's what i do for fun so this has been a very long intro but it's fun to catch up with you and if you're new here just provide a little bit of the insight here so what we're what we do oh we burp the baby probably change her diaper get her down for her morning nap Oh, Holland Diane, everyone always sees you being so happy. <laughs> so we're gonna go take care of her. She always comes first, of course. Yes, and then we're gonna vlog and film some of our day. Do we have a burpees? Oh, see, did you guys hear that? We had a big burp, did you hear that? So, Stanley's just getting here now too, so the day is starting. We just had a big burp and we have lots of dribble and mom should have grabbed her, her napkin. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when she gets angry, I just can't help but laugh because her angry little face is just so cute. Stanley's behind the camera right now. So she, that, Stanley's her best bud. Stanley's her absolute best work bud. They have so much fun. I got a little uh, a jam and jumper thing for her. So we're gonna get that out of the car today too. So that'll be fun. She was wearing pants, but they were they were like kind of cutting off the circulation on her little ankles, so I took them off, but she has little booties on. And we keep it nice and warm here in the, sh in the shop. Plus, if it's nice and warm, then I do take her shoes off. <laughs> I get comments on social media, where's her shoes? Well, she was in my 75 degree living room and babies are supposed to, for development and sensory, have their shoes off so they can kind of experience the world. She loves having them off to feel things and to, and to do that, so. Don't worry, I don't take her out in 30 degree Colorado weather without the proper everything. 
<laughs> and I know most of you know that, but we always, we always get a few comments. So let's go explore the day together. Thank you so much for being here. I sure appreciate it. If you subscribe, you will be subscribing our life. We do dolls, we do babies, we do collaborations. Uh, it usually always has to do with some kind of dolls and it's all over the map. We do all kinds of things. And Holland is getting very annoyed with my very long introduction. So we're gonna go and see what's going on. Say bye-bye. See, but see, thank you for being here. Okay, Stanley and I were just chatting. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. But she's asleep right now, cuddling a little toy that one of her loved ones out on the internet sent her, and she's just chilling. Linda's gonna actually mend her pants and take out the elastic that was a little tight around her little ankle. So she's just, she's sleeping. Holly and Diane was getting very bored laying where she was, so Stanley picked her up for a little tour of the shipping department, and I think a lot of her friends watching right now wouldn't mind if they got shipped a little Holly and Diane in the mail. Huh. No, they wouldn't mind, huh? Yes. Linda, he looks so cute. Thank you. You worked hard on him. He's cute. So what did we do? What did we do? I know, you did a lot, but <laughs> the eyelashes, it was, yeah, we was put, looks yeah, great. We put, we put them in. Do you glue them one by one, or how does that? It, uh, you make a strip of mohair, and okay. then you just sit there and fuss and fuss and fuss, and they finally go on. And yeah, he's, he's cute. The wig's fantastic. You did such a great job trimming it and just cutting it looks down. Like a little boy. Yep, he looks wonderful. Thank you. We will get him photographed and and off to a new off home. Off to a new home. I love what you did, though. I'm so glad we didn't list him nude, which was the plan. It was, but then we had just, to find you something. Him to life. <laughs> you did such a good job. It's what we could find. So I love it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, we are up front now with Linda. Oh, I, just, I just dropped the, just dropped her wig, and I think I think that's human hair. But mm -hmm. if you remember from our doll haul video, we featured this girl. Now I have to look up the mark, and I'm going to show in the video how I can kind of determine. I think she's a one zero zero okay one, one, one Germany, and we have to pull out the stuffing and make sure she doesn't have damage or hairlines. It's kind of hard when it has all this glue and stuff all over have it. have to clean her. Oh, yes. Yeah, Stanley's going to use his tape gun. Oh, Linda, you haven't seen her. No. Oh, okay. Well, Never. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, well, she, she came in our doll haul, and I think she has a very pretty face, and I just want to... We'll clean her, and then we'll put a Joan dress on her. Now, if you're, if you're new here, Joan, she's in her 90s. I think she's 93, and she makes dresses for us. And that's what she does all year long. And we put them on our dolls. So we're gonna look this up now. It's marked 1001, one. right? Now mm -hmm. now this this book I'm gonna show you, it works for German dolls, not for French dolls, but it, it helps a lot. So uh, let's go look at the book and I'll show you how I look up markings. All right, oh, so Linda, we're oh. checking things out. So- oh, our blue book. No, this no, is- no. This the is German marks. This is the German mark book. Have okay. you you've seen this? Mm hmm Okay, so for those that are, that don't know, this is what the book looks like. Oops, and I just actually ordered a brand new one. I found it on eBay for $5. Oh, you're lucky. There's more, there's more. Uh, I yeah. have one. I, oh, I use it a, a, a lot. A lot, yeah, so this, yeah, this, so this is what I do. And so this helps a ton. So this one was marked 1001 uh -huh. on the back and some of the pages fell out so they're not in order, but let's try and get to 100. Oh, hey, that was easy. Okay, so. So what you do, now I'm just gonna pan up just to reiterate. So look, you look on the back of the head and do you see do you see that 1001? That's the marking. Now this this isn't, it's not always exact, but this helps a lot because then if you know if you see the marking, you can go to the book, look up 1001, and then next to it, it has the manufacturers that came out with dolls with the 1001 mark. So we can determine that this doll might be a Wagner and Zooch, mm -hmm. Zeech, <laughs> or wow. Fritz, Fritz Lutz. 
So it's probably the top one because it's 1915. 1926 okay. is a little late for this doll, I think. What does GM mean? GM means, I don't know. <laughs> well, let's find out. Let's look in the index. Okay, we're back because we needed to look up what the GM meant. And this is super helpful. Linda asked Siri, which is her, if you know what that is, it's where you can ask your phone questions and it brings it up. But here's a website, look at this. That's kind of hard to see on my phone. But it's a, a doll collecting abbreviation. We'll put a link in the video and it has all the abbreviations explained. And it says for GM, that means when, when it was patented, I guess. Uh-huh, a protected patent. A protected patent. All right, so we I just learned something. I did too. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I'm always asking questions. I'm glad. When that I'm at good. home, that's what causes me to get into tangents, and that's why the books yeah. come out. Yep. Well, and the books are very, very good. Linda, we had somebody ask, and I haven't responded yet, but they said, like, how do you start to know about dolls and things? And I always recommend books. Oh, yes. Read. What I ended up doing was finding a doll I really was interested in, even if it's a simple little doll. If it was German, then I was always get my German books, go on websites, go ask people that have them, go to shows, mm -hmm. um, just get all, anybody, just yeah. keep searching. And the more you ask questions, just like me, I said, what does jam mean? Right. You know, I wanted to know. I should have known I mean, too. Yeah. Well, and it wasn't in a glossary in this book, so we found it some other place. Mm -hmm. And not every book has the information. It's something I learned when I was doing my internship for UFDC was try to get the newer books because usually they're more current and we're always discovering new things as we go. So what was 20, 30 years ago might not be true today because we found out more stuff. Just like the Canto in Brome, we found shards in an old building. So that's what you need to do is just keep searching and always keep learning. I completely agree. I do. And books are wonderful because the people that wrote them, and not every book, not every book is well written and helpful, but a lot of them are because they've done so much research. But when you're coming to Marks, that's oh, really this, what you, This is a good one, yeah. This is an excellent book. Yes. And... I use it a lot, and you can tell this one's been fairly used. That's why I just ordered a new one. But they are online, and I'm sure after this video they're all going to be gone. But I saw some listed at the Goodwill website, mm -hmm. several on eBay. Get one. The encyclopedias. Oh, they're wonderful books. There's three different ones, and then there's one on clothing, too. Mm. I love that clothing one. I'm oh, That one... I it's falling apart with mine, and I I've had which tape. one? Do you, do you remember? Do you remember the author or the name of it? It's the Coleman Encyclopedia. Oh, the Coleman, yeah. Yes, yeah, the Coleman Encyclopedias, and then there's a German encyclopedia out there that is wonderful reference. Mm -hmm. Any of those books are timeless, and they're just wonderful resources. And I'm always looking at. I mean, you can read it, and then you'll remember something, and you'll find something else so constantly read and search right and it's amazing how you can get these books for next to nothing or free a lot of right. times people are just giving them away yes and magazines um old ac good. auction catalogs yes auction catalogs some of them you have to pay something for but they're wonderful references of what's old and not what's new not a not a current someone's idea always go back to the source i love that as a doll creator it's wonderful to hear your your reference and and um i'm gonna we're gonna go tootle on over to our bookcase just so you guys can see oh yeah that bookcase is out of control well some of the important books are in right there yeah okay so, we so can get to it Oh, this is the important books. These are the ones that we always go to. So these are the ones that we use the most right here. Mm -hmm. So a lot of German and French. I need to find the Jameau book because I get a lot of questions it's about Jameau marks. right over there on the Jameau shelf. And this is the German Encyclopedia. This is a wonderful reference book right here. Oh yeah, I use that a lot. We've used that one a lot. That one's on the Steiner dolls. 
Let's see who, oh, Dorothy McGonagall. She's a very nice person. Of course, the encyclopedia. Any of these books, when you can find them. Yeah. <laughs> when I would go to doll shows, I would come home with maybe one doll and boxes of books. I love it. And that's my whole closet, walk-in closet, and half of my office area is books. This is one thing I want to reinforce too as because I get a lot of questions about people saying, well, I couldn't find much online. Well, maybe it's not online. It's not. It, a lot of times you have to read. And when I do research on a doll, my students will tell you, I take over half the table, and you know, because I will have books out and I will have stickers in them. And I'll be re referring to them and when we have a seminar or something I refer to where I got my information and which book because you need to do the research mm -hmm. same with underwear same with your costume make sure it's time appropriate color appropriate this is it's, why you're so good that's yeah and when you're working here you have to work fast but when you're doing you something do work on so your fast. Own, study yeah well we're very blessed to have you and we're gonna show, I'm just gonna pan here a little bit so you might need can light. see. Yeah, the, the lights, it's not too bad. I just kind of wanted to give, just, and this is just one of our cases. I have another case that has a lot of my books on more modern dolls. Sissy, Ginny, modern, modern vintage. But these are, this is all a lot of um, antiques, antique books. And they're by a ton of really talented people and you can get them. They are so inexpensive right now. So, get them. If you if you got one of these books, and I'm preaching to the choir, so I should do this myself, but if you got one of these books and you just learned everything in the book, you'd, you'd, know, you'd know so much more than the average person if you just read the book and remembered it. it reminds me of school. <laughs> But anyway, that was a fun chat about books. And now we are, since we figured out possibly the maker just from our book. And so what I do from here is after I find, narrow it down, then that's when I will go on the internet and look for other examples and see if they're similar. And then that's how you can really figure it out. Somebody scribbled their name in there. <laughs> These numbers are, are generally a size indication. The mold number will either be right here usually or up here. It wouldn't be at the base of the neck. And this usually. is to keep when they shift them to tie their eyes in. At one time she had sleep eyes, but they have been put in solid. Okay. Very pretty doll though. I like her face. She is different. Very different. Very modern panties. <laughs> yes, nice. modern panties straight from Walgreens. Oh, we gotta have Stanley. Uh-oh, what happened? There's a Stanley issue. A Stanley issue. So he will be gluing the ball yeah yeah there's a lot of issues on this body yeah she need, definitely uh, needs to be restrung oh man this is a project so we will show yes it's always good to hold the head down in case the head flies you don't know she's a mess yeah but she'll be beautiful when we finish with if you're on the internet and you're looking and you're if you if you're from a customer perspective and you're looking to buy something and 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 the person you bought it from has gone through this entire process that is a tremendous value <laughs> it's it a is. lot of work it's a huge it's a huge value you can see how weak that elastic is oh yeah look at hopefully you can see it's just it's very old very very old this elastic is extremely expensive. Very expensive. And that's another thing, is when things have been restrung or freshly, when we say they've been freshly restrung, that's a big deal. And it just keeps going up. It does. And up and up. Every time we buy this string, it's like a, it's like a $1,500 bill. It is, for a roll. Mm-hmm, yeah. And it's just like everything <laughs> else, it's just like, it'll take your breath away. To have a doll restrung is worth a lot. Yep. Why are you deciding to be naughty? We're going to have to investigate what they did. Hopefully she's not glued down to the body or something. No, she can't be because she's rotating. 
weird. Well, I'm glad one of us sounds intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you get as old as me, <laughs> you become very wise. Oh my gosh. Not only are your, does your hair turn white with wisdom, you have wrinkles <laughs> with wisdom. <laughs> Well, I think I think we're doing a great job, and I think you look great. We're having and fun. We're having fun, right? And to clue you in on the inside joke, somebody commented on YouTube. They're probably watching right now, but it was a conversation between Linda and I, and they said at least the elderly lady sounds intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, you know, it gave us a laugh. It really is funny because I told Rachel, I said, well, you better give me a cane and. Yeah. A sippy cup or something. I, know, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I know. It's like Linda works so hard. You just do so much. It's you wear me out, <laughs> and then they're an calling you elderly ladies. It's just I'll get mom in. It's here. like what are you doing on our video then? Yeah, <laughs> you know. Like, <laughs> like, I, I just oh. thought that was funny. Oh, it was. You know, but it, when, honestly, when I was 40, I thought somebody that was 50 was old. <laughs> it's amazing. The older you get, the more, you know, it's not that old. And we have LaVon, who's 103. Yes. And you took her for a haircut on Wednesday and oh, yes. took I her to town. Had to have her haircut. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes, and she had to go to the dollar store and she had to go to the grocery store and it had to be done. And the dogs had to have dog food too. Oh, so, so you had a big day on Wednesday. Yeah. What does LaVon like to get at the dollar store? She likes things like her mentholatum. <laughs> What's that? It's uh, what she uses, believe it or not, used to use it on her lips, but now she puts it on her hands. Oh, it's like lip balm, okay. Yeah, well, I used to put mentholatum on my by, uh, dolls too because they would get uh, sick. <laughs> but okay. it's like an old vapor rub. Oh, I see, okay. Something okay. like that. So she she's found that that helps her arthritic hands too, that and aspirin. Oh, good, well, whatever works, so, good for her. And she likes the dollar store because it's quick. You know, it's fun to go there, especially when they get shipments of things that are normally not a dollar. Sometimes they have food items that are four and five dollars uh -huh. normally. So, so that's fun. That was her outing. Oh, well, that's good. So we're going to do some investigation and we'll be back with, a, with it a, could get a scary full report. Here. Yeah, ah, it could get There it is. Oh, this is why we say keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle. Yep. Look at that. There it is. That's the reason. Yikes. That's the reason they were doing their nose. What is going on in there? Oh, it's called. We need to fix their nose, not naughtiness. Wow. Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> they use duct tape for many things. That's what it is. That's duct tape. Oh, honey. You I wish it was $100 bills, but. I do too. Or newspaper article so we could oh and a nail yikes <laughs> so we've Go. got we've got a project here we've got a project not a bad one just a little one but getting the duct tape out will take some time you all right so we're checking things out this girl is she's got a, a, a lot of messiness but we're going to just do what we can and pretty much list her as is. That's the plan. Because she used to have sleep eyes, but for some reason they've cut the weight off in the wire. The only thing we could do is soak this completely out and reset her eyes and clean her up. It's not okay. that bad. Well, they're not, it's not set terribly. They're not lopsided or anything. No. I think we will leave that. Just clean her up. Yep. And I'll stabilize her neck and we'll string her and she'll be beautiful when she's... Yes, she will. ...on somebody's... or standing by somebody's chair in the living room or something. Exactly. That's the whole point of sharing these things is like... You might think something's too far gone and it's not. It's not. But her painting, that's interesting. That's what I liked about it. Okay, what's interesting... Hold on. What's really interesting? Okay. I don't know whether you can see it. This is like a gray, gray eyeliner. And then what we consider eyelining, which is the black right here, 
it's black it's lined this is what we call place and pull where they have the the root there it's not lined on the bottom but there's a gray mm -hmm. completely around this like our what we do with our eyeliner that's what i mentioned in our doll haul video it's, it's the first thing i noticed about her it's gray and i'm not seeing a doll like that but it might contribute to the um different doll makers that we looked up in the book exactly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go look on the internet and see if there's others that are that look similar yeah if that's their painting technique something else this is very different can you see those bottom lashes yes they're quite exaggerated aren't they no they're exaggerated but look at the little ones in between do you think that's original it's not on the other eye look it's not on the other eye Hmm. So we better see what is going on here. <laughs> Can you see if that'll wash off? I will. It, it almost looks like it almost looks like pencil mark, but but it, it's well. Let me get a Q-tip. <laughs> <laughs> nope, they're painted on. But what I'm seeing, honestly, is look at the spacing here. It's it's really nice this looks like someone has gone in and the spacing is too wide and this is a doll maker here okay look at the space between here and this one it's almost it's missing one so they went in with these scrawny little make-believe things not even really parallel with the other ones. It's amazing once you start really looking the differences and the little details that you can notice. Mm -hmm. Of course they're hand painted so. Well but this one these are straight which is very appropriate here but if you notice the spacing is completely different so why? Is this a marking of their painting? I'd like to remove the eyes and see if there's any repair. Do it. If that's the case, that might be a characteristic with this gray and this one eye because they handed it to different artists to do the right side and the left side. That's what the books say. That's what the books say. Okay. Well, one person, and there are people doing it, so one person isn't going to be the same as the other. Yeah. They're beautifully painted. It's just, I've never seen an eyelash like that. We're going to get in. I know it's hard with the camera, but we're going to get in so you can see as much of it as possible. There you go. All right, we'll be back. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, sweetie. For those worried that she is watching too much TV, which I've had comments, she doesn't watch that much TV. She enjoys it, she enjoys it a few times a day, usually with Stanley in the afternoon, and it's fine. <laughs> huh. Because she doesn't really just sit there and stare at it much anyway. Right now she's dancing and moving and grooving. She gets bored with it. She gets bored with it. She wants to go do other stuff. And he takes her around the shop. Yeah, get it, girl. Get it, girl. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, I've heard Linda scratching away over here. I mean, she's... I've been cleaning the head. She had silly putty in here. Silly putty? Silly putty. I mean, I, you've got to look at this. She had silly putty, then she had this, then she had that to put her, set her eyes, and then they Yikes. put... So we're going to have to find another pair of eyes, but we've got them. I shouldn't have smacked this Jameau right here on your workspace. Yeah. I'm kind of... Yeah. <laughs> we need to... We really do, do need to do her. But, yeah. I mean, look at this. I wanted to see if these eye, this eye had been repaired and somebody had painted it. There's nothing. Wow. Okay. So, now what they asked about is research. I want to find out if this is a characteristic of the painting of this, this company. That will be so fascinating. Because they are a satin black for the doll makers, I'll tell you. They are 
a push, what they call, you know, lay down and pull. And then the little ones in between are very fine, same gray color. But you can really see that eyeliner. Linda does incredible painting of dolls. If you're if you're new here and you're and you're just getting to know us and Linda, and she and she is a judge for the Doll Artisan Guild and a master instructor for them. It's master instructor, right? Is, Linda, isn't that what, yeah, what do I, we call what do we call you? I'm a doll. Oh, I can't even remember <laughs> what I am. Something. <laughs> well, it's 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 a designation. Yeah. It's a the top award. The top award. A doctorate. Oh, okay. She's the highest you can go. And she does a lot of judging, and so of course she looks really close at painting. I hope you can see it out there. I difference. hope you can too. Yeah. I mean, Are you going to start painting your dolls like this? No. <laughs> you don't paint your dolls like that because you paint them like the original. That's why you do the research. My curiosity was solved. Curiosity. But now, I mean, she's beautiful. She'll make a fun doll once we... Once we Clean her up, oh. put the Joan dress on her. Uh-oh. You know, you gotta see this. There's her teeth. I got her, all of her teeth here. Here, let's get it in so, so yeah. they can see. Look at the, look at those. How funny. You usually don't see them out of the head. Nope. And so the eyeballs broke, or were they already broken? Well, they were broken. Okay. They, one of them, where is the other? One of them was just like this. That's probably why we had Silly Putty in there. And then this one was broken. And that's the reason they had taken the weight off of the, pa um, the paperweight mechanism. So somebody did this at home and probably did a great job considering they probably didn't have any training or resources. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's novel that they use Silly Putty to set them, you know, to, mm -hmm. instead of wax for the eyes. <laughs> And then plastered them, and how it even stayed on in there, I don't know. It's been that way for a while, because the collector we got them from had the doll like that for like 25 years. Mm -hmm. Hi, honey. Hi. Did you just wake up from your nap? Are you so sweet and smiley? Should we have a little something to eat? Oh, oh, so wiggly from your nap. Yes. Did one of your sweet friends send this little strawberry blankie? Huh? Should we have a little something to eat? Okay. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. You gonna say something? You gonna say something? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. So, it's... Gosh, it's already 4 o'clock when we're filming this. And Miss Holland Diane is starting her little bewitching hour where she gets a little crankers. Now we're going to see if she's going to want to have a little more of the yummies that we pumped for her. Oh, good. Okay. We do a combination of breastfeeding and pumping. And both work great for us. The, the pumping works really well here at the shop because I can, she can get bigger meals. When she breastfeeds, it's more often. Last night, she got me up at 2.30, 3.30, and 4.30. And then she got up at six. So she's having a bit of a sleep regression a little bit, where she was literally waking up almost every hour. But that happens, especially at this age. I don't mind. She sleeps in our room right next to me. And I just kind of hop out of bed and grab her and there we go, huh? Oh no, oh no, but look. There's your friends, they love you so much. Look, look at them, look at them. Oh, you just wanna, she just wants to dig in. Oh. Uh, I don't, I don't do much baby talk to her, like at all when she talks, I talk back in human language. But sometimes it's kind of tempting that she goes, uh, and then I go, uh, it's kind of funny. Let's see, Let's say hello. Look. Now the new thing, well, it's not that new, but over the last two months, she loves sticking her entire fist or her fingers inside her mouth. Just, 
sometimes like the whole thing. Like I've even caught her gagging on it because she put it that much in and I'm like, Sister Bean, we have pacifiers and other things for that. Huh. <sighs> oh, is it the end of the day? Did you work hard? Did you work hard? Look, look at your special friends. They love you so much. You doing good? I did change her. I have to change her outfits. Cause sometimes her little diaper leaks a little bit or we have a big problem. So she has a little mini closet here at the shop. Just like I do. <laughs> Say hi. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we better check in and see how Linda's doing. And then that's probably gonna be about the end of this video because we've been moving and grooving all day, but we'll film some more tomorrow. And then Linda's taking a, uh, she's doing, she's going to Oklahoma and she's like doing all kinds of things. And so we're not gonna have her for almost a month. Ick. Ick. What? Really? Uh, for real? That happened? No way. I, I can't even believe that's true, but it is? Okay. Well, I believe you, of course. I just talk to her like that. I say, how many? And who went? And what kind of car? When she talks. My lips are kind of... I got this new watermelon lip gloss, and it's kind of makes me look like I have chapped lips. I'm glad you enjoy Sister Bean as much as I do. We took some cute pictures this morning. I can't wait to post them here soon. It's just, it's my favorite thing. She looks like a little heebie-sheebie with her little, look at. <laughs> if you know what a heebie-sheebie is, then you're gonna appreciate that because she totally looks like a heebie-sheebie. Look at those little feet. See, that's fun. It's fun to chat and say hi to our friends, huh? Yes. Oh, let's go check in with Linda. Linda has remembered what her degree is and it is Award of, of excellence. excellence. Yeah, I thought, okay. I remember that. Well, yeah. I remember you telling me that. A yes. long time ago. Yeah. Okay. So this is fun. We're gonna have a little discussion here about two different kinds of eyes. A lot of people don't know what the difference is. German eyes are always usually round. These are what we use to make rockers and this is sleep eyes they have to we also use this type of eye to make the flirt eyes too and it has to be they're glass and they're blown and they have to have this hole because there's a wire that goes in here and it goes across and it goes down here and then it comes back out and this is all connected and this is a weight according to the size of eyes to make it rock when, so you have to have the round eyes. So that was the reason when we took these eyes out, they were round, but they broke. Mm -hmm. Now, the paperweight, this is called a heavy paperweight eye. Yeah, you can, tell, you can see the difference there when Basic, you look from the side. Yeah, when they make it, they pull it out, it's glass, and they let the bulge. And when you are cutting eyes, you have to allow for that bulge to stick out through the eye. That's typical of our French dolls, and a heavy paperweight. There's all different kinds of paperweight eyes. There's pinched ones, there's flat ones. This is considered a flat, and this is a, a, a really nice eye. I would hate to purchase that today. They're, they were expensive Years. back when we purchased them. Oh, yes. And anytime was... we can get our hands on these, we do buy them. Yeah. And they are heavily threaded. They're beautiful. But if you have a, a very nice doll, you want good eyes. It's It makes all the difference because it's, when you have cheap eyes, mm -hmm. you can tell. They say it's the soul of the doll. Yep, absolutely. It is. Thank you, Linda. That that was very helpful. We're mm -hmm. learning a lot. There's a lot. Okay, we need to go here. over a lot of the basics, I feel like, on our channel yeah. coming up. Yeah. This is a paperweight eye, too. Small. But it's a small one. Let's see if I can get it away from the rubber. And you can see it still has that little bulge. 
This is just the round one. A pinched one. I don't see any. It, only, certain dolls need to have the pinched eye because of the way their, their face is. And the eyes just do not fit. They're so elongated when you cut them. You have to have a pinched paperweight. But this is another example of a paperweight. Very helpful. Thank you, Linda. And so, okay, how did you reset the teeth? Do you do it the same way as the eyes? Well, the I, put them, I stuck them on a piece of masking tape, then masking tape to get them together. It's really hard. And then I stuck that. I set it with wax, our, our museum wax. And then I stuck that in. Okay. And then I went ahead and positioned the eyes. And that wax is hanging out, but that's fine. I'm waiting for it, the, the plaster to dry. And hmm, the cup. I didn't care about the cup. Normally, if I'm setting eyes and I'm in a hurry, but since it's the end of the day, I knew it would be set by the time tomorrow. Um, this, If this is dry, then it would be dry. Mm -hmm. Enough to fool with. That's a good tip. And we do, we have done a couple uh, eye setting tutorials on our channel, which you can find if you want a more in-depth process. And of course these are not, it's not in-depth really. We just kind of show what we do here in the shop, which is usually pretty quick because Linda does this and she knows what to do. And uh, Stanley's taping like crazy back there. So you're just going to have to pretend like that's not happening. <laughs> but you know what? We're, we have to get our packages out. So we're, we're double time in here. Sure. But that was good. So I can't wait to see. And we will finish the video tomorrow when we show the final doll. Right. Thanks, Linda. You're welcome. You're looking at that robot. Look at her bounce, bounce. She looks like she's... Look at her go. She looks like a heebie-sheebie with her little feet. Oh, my she gosh. Really heebie <laughs> you look like a heebie-sheebie. Heebie-sheebie alert. Heebie-sheebie alert. What are you doing, miss? We better not ship the wrong doll. Get it, girl. All right, it's the end of the day. And Linda, I have to tell you, so Sally actually helped us research this one a little bit too. And okay. she says she thinks it might be ABG, but it's an unknown. We don't, we do not know. Oh, good. So I wasn't completely. You were not. I couldn't find anything. And That's, I was really. Neither could she. So good. And there's a lot of unknown dolls out there. So, we know that. We know that she is unknown. Now, she looks beautiful. She had what a to project. have that ribbon right there because of her wig. There's a little, you know, owie in her wig. So, they oh, covered it Oh, like up. a bald spot? No, like it's just an Indian. Mm -hmm. Or a little top knot mm -hmm. spout. So. A little, okay, a little cow lick type thing? Something like that. Oh. So, yeah. She's, she looks fantastic. She's in a, one of our Joan dresses, which if you saw our last video, we showed that we get these dresses made by Joan who scours for fabric and just makes dresses for us all the time. She's 93 and we buy them and she, she loves making them for us and we put them on our dolls. So good job and you redid the eyes and everything. She's finished. We still do not know anything about the the eyes, but that is okay. Look at that. What a, what a project. You and Stanley worked hard on this one. This was a big one. But she looks lovely. Thank you. She's a big one. She's a big one. <laughs> We've been over here fighting on this stand. Stands up. I, I don't like stands. <laughs> No, they can, stands are difficult. Yes, and she is tied in, so Good. Be, be aware that she's tied in. And when she, Linda says tied in, that means that we have tied her at the waist to the stand so that she doesn't fall out of the stand, which happens on especially large or heavy dolls. All right. Well, we enjoyed this video, Linda. Thank you ever so much for all of your contributions. You are, oh, thank you. You are becoming a pretty big star on this channel. Well, I just want people to learn play. Yeah, we love to learn and we love to play and Hall and Diane, we're, we're being paged again. We are. So, it, it's the end of the day and it's time to go. Home. Yeah, it is. It is. So we're, we're all feeling about the same. <laughs> A time clock. Time clock. <laughs>
All right, thank you so much, Linda. Bye. Bye.